Alright, Zach Freeze here with another shirtless interview. Uh, today what I want to talk about is the topic of fear. Fear is something I have a totally different perspective on than most people. But I'd like to enlighten you guys on my perspective of it. And then at the end of this, maybe you'll, I guess, see where I'm coming from or just think I'm insane. So either way, it should be awesome. I have fear. I would say probably my biggest fear in life would be not living up to my potential or not doing something because I'm afraid and like totally missing out on the situation. So I'd say this is like, uh, say you're in class and you're given a presentation and you think it'd be so funny to do something, but then you're like, you have a fear, you're like, well, what if people don't laugh? What if everyone thinks I'm dumb? What if I get in trouble? Like to me, I honestly would rather like, as long as it's not too appropriate, I get kicked out of the class, but I'd rather do the thing and have people like think I'm stupid or whatever. Cause I know that like, to me, not doing it is almost always worth <laughs> Take two. So you're in class, right? And uh, I've had this a few times where, like, you, you want to say something funny, but for some reason you just don't say it. And then at the end of it, you're just like, oh, well, like, people might have thought it was dumb, or teacher might not have laughed. It's like, the bottom line is, like, who cares? Like, you should do it for you. And the fear of, like, what other people think you shouldn't matter at all. In this car, it's like freaking 120 degrees, trying to put this awesome video together. <sighs> Most people I know uh, have a immense fear of like being physically hurt, which I definitely understand. Like being hurt isn't fun, but I found people that are like most afraid of like doing stuff that like could potentially you could break a bone or whatever are the people that have like never broken a bone. People that have like broken bones before, they realize like, oh yeah, it's like it's not cool and all, but it's like it's not that bad. One of my favorite lines from Travis Pastrana is, uh, he, he gets this one point, he, like, crashed so hard that, like, he hit the max amount of pain that your body could possibly tolerate, and then he just passed out. And he goes, well, that's as bad as it could possibly ever get, so who cares? Like, I don't know, that's how I felt. Like, I broke a bone, like, yeah, it sucked, but, like, honestly, getting, like, hit in the shins actually hurts worse. The only thing that sucks about, like, broken bone is, like, there's, like, the six weeks downtime for it to heal. And the only reason it sucks that you can't do stuff for six weeks is because you can't do what you got hurt doing in the first place, generally. Which for me, it'd be something like parkour or dirt biking, which, I don't know, I'd rather get hurt every once in a while, get into to do the things I love, than never do it, and just, like, wonder, like, how awesome that could be, how much fun that could be, what am I missing out on? To me, missing out on life is, I think, one of the biggest things I'd never want to do. People also have this fear with, like, uh, relationships. People are, like, afraid to fall in love, which it's understandable, because people get, like, heartbroken or whatever, but generally... No matter how heartbroken you get, like, a month or two later, you get completely over the person. And even if that person broke up with you, generally, they're like, hey, I screwed up, I want you back in my life, generally, just like, you know what I realized? Like, I'm way too good for you, I don't even want you in my life. Like, there's so much better for me out there. And, like, say you put up the shield and you never, like, fall in love or get attached to someone, that's cool, and all of a sudden they break up with you and you're like, yeah, well, yeah, I wasn't hurt because I never, like, put the effort in, I never wanted to, like, get close to this person. But the bottom line is, like, when you're with that person, you're not enjoying your time together as much as you could be. So even if you're, like, afterwards or hurt a little less, like, that whole time you were together, you weren't, like, enjoying it to the max potential. So is it really worth it? Or would you rather just be hurt for a little bit afterwards and then just move on and get the full experience of it? To me in life, like, I'd rather get the full experience. I know there's, like, we're learning a philosophy about stoics, stoicism. Sure, I pronounced that wrong. Anyway, what's the, what it is, it's like this culture, they believe that basically you should have like almost no emotions, and you shouldn't grow close to anyone or anything in life because everything's temporary. So they're saying like, if you fall in love with your family members, eventually they're going to die, so then you're going to experience negative emotions. So if you never love anyone or anything, you'll never experience negative emotions. Which is like interesting, but then again, you're not going to experience the highest range of positive emotions that you could either. It comes from like, fully putting yourself in the moment and not worrying about having the fear of getting hurt or whatever. People have, like, yeah, fears of a lot of things. I know, like, I'll take people to the river, and there's, like, a 15-foot tower. We jump off into the water. I've personally, like, face-planted off that, which wasn't awesome, but it's pretty much, like, as bad as you can get. I had two and a half rotations of a front flip into a face plant, which is pretty much as hard as you can hit the water, and, like, didn't feel awesome at the time, but I'm fine. And the bottom line is people get so scared to jump off that, just, like, and the bottom line is, like, no matter... There's almost no consequences, sort of. Like, if you hit the water, it might hurt for a few seconds or whatever, but you can't really hurt yourself off of that. 
the bottom line is, like, people aren't really afraid of driving, but, like, driving on the freeway or just going out of the house, the chances of you dying are, like, astronomically higher than if you were to jump off that little tower into the water. I think a lot of people just have irrational fears of stuff like that. And to me, if I didn't jump off the tower, I would be, like, say I was afraid to and I was really afraid, but the fear, like, eating at me would hurt so much more than if I just jumped off and, like, face planted. I'd so much rather do that and, like, get over the fear than have that in the back of my head. I hate being afraid of things. When I was first trying to learn a gainer off a table, I might throw this in the video. Um, I was getting really close, and then one of the times I stepped too far, my foot slid off the table, and I went straight down on my neck. My neck was like super stiff. I ended up missing like three days of school, but like before I went home, I tried it like ten more times to make sure that I landed it because I didn't want to be afraid of that trick. I don't want my last memory to be me failing on it. I want to have like a positive memory and to know that I could do it. It's so good. Even if you look at like probably not even shot at all. Even if you look at me like making these videos, the reason I do it's like for me, because I just think it's interesting and I want to be able to look back at like what my views were at one point in life. But, like, I could throw this on YouTube and people would be like, Oh, he's so stupid. Oh, no, this guy's retarded. Do shirtless interviews. He's an idiot. Like, if I had a fear of, like, whatever one thought of me, like, I want to live my life to the fullest. And at the end of the day, I'd be missing out on so much. I don't know. I think fear, like, to some extent, is, like, a good thing. Like, it prevents you from doing retarded things. Like, would I jump off a 20-foot house on the grass? No, because, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's definitely not worth it. But, like... Most people are afraid of things that the chances of you getting hurt are, like, so slim. Like, people, like, say you have, like, a cool slip and slide or you're afraid of some, like, roller coaster. The chances of you getting hurt on that stuff is, like, almost zero. But people have built up this thing in, like, their head. And, I don't know, to me, I think missing out on the situation hurts so much more. Like, and it lingers afterwards, too, than the physical pain of if you actually got hurt on it. I'm so gonna find you. <sighs> it's all that's on my mind right now, so till next time, take it sleazy. <laughs> take it sleazy. People are gonna be like, what the shit does that mean? If you guys watched Workaholics, you know what that means, but probably not. I realize, like, when you when you do the video and you see people doing their own videos, and you see them do, like, the stupid shit, they're like, ha, that thing gets hilarious, and everyone watches, like, this guy's a retard. That's how I feel right now.